Hello everyone, this is Dmitry from Galileo Sky. Let's keep on learning about filters. The first filter for today's video is the tar filter. As you know, serial fuel level sensors usually give out values not in liters but in their own units. This can be, for example, a range of values between 0 and 4096. You can add the tiring table in your software, sure, but you can also do the same on the tracker's side. The filter structure is quite typical. First, we add get parameter block and select the tag with the raw data from the fuel level sensor. Double click on the filter to open the filter settings. The tiring table can convert fuel level sensor's own readings into fuel tank filling percentage or into liters. Add as many rows as you need to the table and enter the data to recalculate sensor's readings to the real fuel level value. You can save the tiring table to the CSV file or upload the table from the existing file if you already have one. After filling the table, we should select the tag where the filter results will be saved. Then save the filter and load it to the tracker. Don't forget to add the tag you selected in the filter to the main packet on the protocol tab to receive the information in the monitoring software. Please note that you can use the tiring table not only for the fuel level sensors. For example, the gas pedal position in the CAN bus is often transmitted in the range from 0 to 255 which represent the pressing on the gas pedal from 0 to 100%. Using this filter, it's easier to convert CAN data to a percentage. The table will only have two rows. 0, 0, 250, 100. Let's check the filter results in the Violon software. The original value from the CAN bus is in the CAN 8-bit R0 and CAN 8-bit R1 has the filter results. As you can see, we get correct values, so the tar filter can be useful for lots of different applications. The next filter is meant only for the fuel level readings, so it's called fuel tar filter. It can recalculate fuel level based on the fuel type, its current temperature and the readings from the fuel level sensor. This filter takes the fuel thermal expansion into account. Similar to the tar filter, you can set the table which matching the fuel level sensor readings and the real fuel volume. We also need to specify the fuel type and the temperature at the time of tarring. The filter is available for gasoline, summer diesel fuel and the winter diesel fuel. Please note that this filter requires two data sources, the actual fuel level readings and the current temperature data source. You can select an external temperature sensor or a temperature readings from the fuel level sensor as such source. If the fuel level sensor is already installed in the tank and connected to the tracking device, you can fill in the tearing table online. You will see the current level value from the sensor in a row. You only need to match it with the liters for this value. After that, you can go to the next row and the next value. Now, once the table is filled, all we need to do is to select the tag where the filter results will be saved. That's all for today. In the next video, we will continue learning more about filters. That was Dmitry from Galileo Sky. See you later.